in CISM 101 series, we are in part A. I can't believe we have come so far. Anyway, in this video, I would like to show you how you can upload a file to a SharePoint library using C Sharp and Client Object Model. In this video, we will start with the typical scenario that we need to use file upload. Then we will have a demo. So I will show you how you can upload the file to a library to root folder. And then we test the solution and we discuss the next steps. The typical scenario is that your client or a company is migrating from a network drive to SharePoint. So they have lots of files and they actually cannot manually transfer the files to the SharePoint. So now you come in and write the code to read these files one by one and upload them to the right library. In this video, the file that I'm uploading is located on drive C in a folder called temp and the file name is sample.txt. The server URL is HTTP uh, SP 2013 dev CSOM 101. And the library name is documents. First, I would like to go through the steps. So we create Windows Forms application. Then we create a client context object. Of course, before that, we add all the references. After that, we create an object called file creation information and we assign the internet file bytes to the content property. Finally, we create a file in the library root folder using this object that we just created and populated the properties. So I put the information that we have here and we go back to Visual Studio and start coding it. Inside Visual Studio, I've already created a Windows project called CSOM 101 part eight. So I just add the references that I need. So it's going to be sharepoint.client.runtime and sharepoint.client. And I click on OK. References are added. I put a button here and I call it upload file. Double click going to the top of the page using Microsoft.SharePoint.Client, resolving our conflict. It's Windows form. And now we have the button to code. So let me start by defining all these information here in the beginning of the uh, function. So we will end up with much cleaner code. So I start with string file path equals and C column backslash temp backslash sample dot txt. Then library name equals documents, string, site URL equals HTTP column slash slash SP 2013 dev slash CSOM 101. And because I also need the file name to provide to the file creation information, I create another variable called file name equals file path dot substring. It's going to be file path dot last index of backslash plus one. So if I get if I get a substring of the file path from one character after the last index of backslash, it should return me sample.txt. Now I have all the information for the file upload. So let's write the code using client context ctx equals new 
client context site URL and after that I put my message box dot show upload completed let me get back to my PowerPoint so we started by creating Windows Forms application we created the client context now we need to create file creation information so file creation information I call it FC info equals new file creation information so FC info dot the URL is actually our file name FC info dot I also have override property so I would say set it to true as an example and it has a content that the content is going to be the array of the bytes building this file there are different ways that I can do it but the simplest way that I do is system.io.file.readbytes and it gets the file path and I have all the bytes in this file assigned to the content property so my file creation information is complete all I need to do is to create a file in the library root folder so it's going to be web I call it my web equals ctx dot so I start by creating web I call it my web equals ctx dot web and then list I call it my library equals my web dot lists dot get by title and that's going to be my library name variable that I created it on the top and finally my library dot root folder dot files dot add and this add requires fc info and just like always ctx dot execute query we went through all the steps now let's run the application and verify the work so I come back to Visual Studio I set my project as startup I press F5 click on upload and it says upload completed let's go to the library and verify the file is there and if I click on it I can open it and see the content what comes next so in this video we went through uploading a file next video I would like to show you how you can upload the library with a content type then we would like to assign the content type to the file and finally assign the metadata to the file all these is coming in CSOM 101 part 9 thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share the video